Oh, hello there and welcome to the full behind the scenes wedding day. I'll be your host, Taylor Jackson. If you're a member, you have access to all the settings as well. There's a video over there where we go through all the settings. Today though, if you're here for the photography, we use a film camera and we also use a digital camera. And this is how I hold it all day in my legs. Thing on the back, we'll talk about that in a second. But here we go, into the wedding day. Oh, but first, if you want a free preset pack for your wedding photography, there's a link in the description. Go grab it right now, or after this video. How sweaty are you right now? Pretty sweaty. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty sweaty. Is it open to the video? Probably, yeah. We're now arriving at Langdon Hall for Heart of Ceremony Part 2. So we're in a glass case of emotion, and uh, we gotta take some wedding pictures. With me today, I have one green forerunner, two, a lot of stuff back here. This, don't ever buy this. This was the worst product I ever bought in my life. Canon R3 with the Samyang 8514. Uh, my behind the scenes setup, as you've seen, and the, there's a video that talks about all the pieces that go into that, but you can do that yourself if you want. Inside, Peak Design bag. We got a Godox V1, not using the Stella Pro Reflex today. Uh, that's a little strap. I don't use a harness system because I only really use two cameras during the ceremony. Today, hardest ceremony, I'm just gonna shoot 35. Maybe I'll have a 16 on my other camera body, or maybe I'll have the 85 on the other one. Do a few photos from the back. Second camera body, Canon R6 with the 35. Probably my favorite lens for the Canon mirrorless system. And then the bonus lenses in my bag here, 16 and a 50. I like both of these because they're very, very small, as you can see. Holy crap, a cloud. Wow, today just got a whole lot better and I almost dropped the 50. And then we got, we got the Nikon <laughs> matches. Do you see a bit of a motif here? Green, green, green. Uh, green, green gang today. Nikon FM3A, and I'm going to be loading Cinestill 400D into this, which is great. And one other thing that I love about the, uh, the FM3A, so the on-off switch is, uh, is your film advance here. So that means the camera is on. If it is like that, button doesn't work. It's like this, button does work. How fun is that? Oh my gosh, it's Liam. What's Liam eating? Holy crap. Like three slices of turkey. And spicy mustard. Holy crap. A little mayo on here too. Damn. the cucumbers though. Usually oh. I'll do a little cucumbers. A little bit of like texture. Oh yeah. Today's wedding is guest starring Banana Boat here. Uh, looking for that Banana Boat sponsorship. Hit me up. Magnetic. Ooh. Mist filter. Do it again. Oh yeah. It's great. That's nice. It's not an ND, but it's kind of more useful for like these hybrid days in case I forget to take it off. Photos still have a nice, nice look to them. Slow mist. Beautiful, maybe. <laughs> I like the first piece of it because you always get the, the light bleed. Mm. So that's probably half of your face if I had to guess. <laughs> I did buy this camera because of how ugly it was. Okay, now a wedding day for real. Let's get to business. All the presets you're going to see are from my preset packs. This is preset black and white 2020. There's a new one out though. There's a new pack that just went on last week. Go grab it. Guys, getting ready. This is a very chill day, and I wouldn't say it's out of the ordinary that they would just like some nice pictures. They don't want photography to be the entire day, and they would like to have their wedding, and they would like to have some nice memories of it. So I will do that for them. I like to get the three rings when possible, but as I've noticed, you never really see the engagement ring with these rings at the same time, so typically over dinner, um, I'll do that shot if, uh, if they can't all be together in one spot. So you can see, or you'll see throughout the day that I'm doing both photography and video coverage and Liam is primarily doing video today and we're doing a highlight, but we are in a very compressed timeline with a very small guest count. And uh, typically, I guess when we're trying to do a highlight film, we need more events, we need more people, we need more things. And when you do have a shorter day and also a guest count. I think there's maybe 20 people here. Uh, when you have a smaller day like that, it becomes very difficult to do a highlight film and also photography as one person. So it's very, very, very nice to have somebody dedicated to it. So shout out Liam for really coming through the video today. Awesome, we got one more. <laughs> Perfect, that's great. All right, and last one here. <laughs> uh, Chris's dad does have pants. He'll be up. There you go. <laughs> it's like 
looks so pretty with the other folks back. Get a little closer for one or two. <laughs> Just want to draw some attention to Liam there, shooting the clouds. And then the next shot, what's Liam up to here? We don't know. Nice. Good to see you guys. Parenting things. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna feel weird without a condo. Good to see you. Are you excited for the wedding today? So excited that I'm wearing my nice. brand new Just Do It t-shirt. Because that's my wow. slogan for wedding, Just Do It. Just do it. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff Mack, wedding officiant. Michelle and Jeff are putting okay. the wedding on today. As far as planning goes, this is Sylvia Pond. She's also a photographer in town. Hey, hey how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Great. Hello, I'm Mia. Hello, how's it going? And makeup artist today is Glam Girl Gabby on YouTube. Go check her out if you're interested in getting more glam. 35 millimeter lens, very key, I would say, for me on the wedding day for detail shots. I love my 85 for people photos, but the 85 close focusing distance does not work. Having the close focusing distance of the 35, really, really nice. <laughs> One interesting thing you can do is uh, after, if you have shot a wedding day, you can go into Lightroom and you can sort it by the number of photos taken by different lenses. So you can actually see the, the percentages that you use. And on a normal wedding day, I am somewhere 50% always or above on my 85. And then 35 is usually second, and then everything of the ceremony is typically on my 70 to 200. Uh, today, though, it's a little bit different because, as you know, hardest ceremony ever, part two. So I do stay on my 35 for most of that day. And I am very excited about the 24 millimeter f1.8 that's coming out for the RF series that is not yet out. And I messaged Canon, and I was like, hey, can I have this lens? Can I do a video? And then they said, no response so hopefully that still comes together but maybe not i don't know i'll just buy one whenever they're out because i well everything that i use in my professional business i do purchase uh if i'm doing a camera review or i'm doing a pre-production product release of some sort in that case i will be on either a rented product but they never actually let you keep it so yeah that's a story that's a photo all right, scouting the first look spot, Megan wants to do it in this area here, so she'd come down the stairs, and we're gonna have Chris probably right here. The sun is kind of up in this direction, so if it's getting spotty, uh, if, I, if you can look at me, I can kind of go in and out of sunspots, so I don't want him to be facing this way. So I'm gonna have him facing into the bad light, and then when Megan comes and taps him, we'll turn around into the good light. And there you have it. First looks by Taylor, and also Liam and also Megan. Yeah, so he's at the bottom of the stairs instructed to face the pool area. Um, so if you want to go maybe down to the um, to the left, so go, go, so go, go around. So go down these steps, spin yeah. around? Okay. Yeah. And when, um, you, when you get to the bottom of the steps, I'll get you all situated before yeah. I see him? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whee! Just me again. <laughs> All those frames weren't just of his medals. They were of other things too. And uh, yeah, this is the first look in the wind. As you can see, not great light on him now. It's passable, it's it's fine. I was taking a lot of frames because the, the sunspots were moving around very, very quickly and I just wanted one clean frame. And then I was gonna turn into some good light as I pivot around. I'll let this roll for a little bit just so you can see kind of how I approach this. So Liam is, again, rolling video. He's on the, uh, the Nikon. The, the Z9, or the Z9, depending on which country you're in. We're in Canada, so it's Z9 up here. And he is on the 51.2 most of the day as well. So yeah, I've positioned myself on the opposite side of the light. As you can see, a little bit speckled there. But as I rotate around, the light does clean up and get a little bit better. Still a little sunspot on the arm there, but I don't know. I don't think it's too distracting. It gets distracting when it's so bright that it kind of bleaches out and you can't actually uh, see detail. So if it's a wedding dress and it's in those sunspots, it's more likely to blow out and to be too overexposed, but a blue suit, a little more forgiving. I have a half step, but it actually works out pretty well. Oh, this looks amazing. Smile and face towards me for one or two here. Beautiful. And uh, even if you want to put a hand in your pocket, maybe that's good there. 
Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And can you guys hold hands and slowly kind of walk towards us out here? Yeah, cloud. That's great. And look at each other and just be happy with each other. Amazing. That was so good. That was excellent timing with the, uh, right there's good. And um, can put the dress down. Do that one more time. I'm going to get a little closer. Perfect. Yeah, both arms around each other and Nice. And even if you guys want to hold hands and kind of space out just a little bit, that's good. They're a little more casual. Lovely. And you can look at each other and be happy with each other, and then you can look back at me for one or two. Awesome. That's great. All right. So as you can tell, I will prioritize good light over maybe a better location. So the light here, you're getting some nice bounce from everything that's happening where I'm standing. And even though there kind of is no background. It looks, it looks very nice. Uh, slow down a little bit, this is really nice. <laughs> Perfect. And the blue flag even matches perfectly too. And you guys just look at, keep doing what you're doing, just kind of talking and... Also, I deliver all photos if I do give them a black and white version, I also always give them the color version. I discovered that when people build albums, um, or maybe I, when I build albums, that I want everything on that page to be either color or black and white, so I don't want to give people just black and whites only. That'll be a good one. Goes in the gallery. All right. And the color presets that are coming up are uh, 2022 TL. TL and CL are pretty similar. Uh, CL is kind of the next iteration of my clean profile and clean is actually the LUT that I use. So if you remember, you have access to all my LUTs as well. And the clean is the one that I use pretty much for all of my videos, including my wedding videos. And the, I guess the LUT kind of exists from the Lightroom preset that I originally made. Uh, so I tried to model as best I could after that. And then the TI just adds a little bit more, I guess, like kind of film tone, I guess, to, uh, to the profile overall and kind of makes it look a little bit like that. Or it looks exactly like that because that's what exactly what you're seeing. And can I have you all look at each other and just kind of laugh and smile about stuff for a couple seconds? So funny. It would have been funnier if you guys would have had the bird. Liam has become 4K60 boy. 4K60 boy. On the 24. I'm probably in your shot. We're really getting a lot of views out of our Ethernet connections today on our cameras. Uh, Nice to have a full size one. I don't even know where it's, oh, it's over here. There it is. I didn't Beautiful. even know where it was. Oh, I like that it also is in where your mic goes. So a yeah. port that you use all the time, it should be weather sealed. Yep. And then just a big gaping hole that is not weather sealed, yep. with no way to cover it. Yep. Wow. Wow. That's nice. We didn't get names. So here we are, half lit. Sun's gonna get more directional, harder. There are going to be uh, lines on people's faces. And Liam and I get to be up here and get the video while they're coming down here. So this is definitely a 35 or wider situation. All right, so going to do some details right here with you. I usually start with the 85, then move to the 35 and get maybe a few more close-ups if required. And today the ceremony is happening through the door that you can see right there. And then, uh, actually no, we're going to cocktails in the, in the backyard. So I do have time to actually come back and do details once candles are lit. But I like to just have kind of the basics done while I know it is good light in case it gets weird blue hour or something. Um, nicer just to get everything done now if you can. That's 35. That's also the 35. The 50 millimeter F1.2. F1.2. Wow. Currently at 1.8. Shooting at 1.8? Why not just buy the 1.8? I also have that. <laughs> Here we are. Cake photography. Boom. Cake shot. Here we are. Rolling into the ceremony. I am on the 85 to grab some candids of people around the room, and then I'm going to switch to my 35 once, I, uh, once the ceremony actually begins. And 35, I feel like, is the happy medium where you're not getting too much of that wide-angle distortion. You could definitely shoot this at 24 also. Uh, but if I was shooting everything at 16, the people on the edges would look crazy and quite weird. So I would rather shoot at 35 and uh, get the, I don't know, frames where people look 
kind of their best, but also kind of normal and that no shoulders or anything are too distorted if they get closer to the frame. This is my usual kind of go-to for uh, capturing candids prior to the ceremony. Usually I'll be on a 70 to 200 and I'll just be kind of lurking around and whenever groups change and reconfigure, I'll grab a few photos. And then once the ceremony begins, I go up to the front. Usually I ask the officiant to give me like a 30 second warning so I can actually get up there or maybe a little bit more if I'm also doing video. Tight space, as you know. And Liam, I believe, is also on his... He might even be on his 24 for this. Um, which means and the 4K60 boy joke was basically that I might need to punch into his frame in the edit. And if he's shooting 4K60, I can do that. So I definitely feel a little bit too close to everybody right now. But that's the, that's the, that's the room. I'm even in my own behind-the-scenes camera, which is incredibly rare. Also, shooting like that, I don't know. I, I like mirrorless because you have the, the flippy screen and the eye autofocus just works so incredibly well. That's a shot that you couldn't really kind of no look headshot uh, with a digital SLR. I am very happy today that we arrived prior to the ceremony and actually did some getting ready coverage because if I was to just arrive for the ceremony only and put myself in this environment, it would be very, I don't know, I wouldn't feel that comfortable and I feel like other the people there wouldn't also feel that comfortable. This is super famous wedding officiant, Chef Mac, who you may remember from other videos. And this is Sylvia, photographer extraordinaire. And trying, so I'm, t as you can hear in the background there, I'm taking pretty much like 25 or 30 frames of them coming down the aisle because I know every kind of millisecond they go from somewhere that is kind of that, that shade beam in their face, the, the beam from the, the window pane, to full sun, back to shade whenever they're kind of behind one of the, the bigger pillars there. So very happy to have a high frame rate camera, even though for wedding photography, it doesn't really, you wouldn't expect that you need a high frame rate camera and most wedding days you don't, but there are a couple of the days in the year that it is nice to have and not necessarily for bouquet toss or anything like that. It's just weird situations like this. So as you can see a little bit too much light there, but then the next frame, you kind of go back to shade. Challenging times here. There's kind of absolutely no light really reflecting back at them from the side that I'm on, which is a bit of a bummer. So that's kind of the best you can do and thankful for dynamic range. Just for a second, I want you to get a good view of these two as we're up here both getting married. Uh, pretty amazing thing to celebrate today, right? Yes. It's remarkable. And uh, before we get started, I actually wanted to remind us all that that's what we're doing today. We're celebrating this marriage, right? That's why you're all here. Obviously, you're the most important people in their lives. So you might be like, wow, this guy's taking so many photos and nobody's moving. And it is because we got a cloud for a minute. So everything is very balanced. So I basically shot the entire ceremony worth of shots that I would usually do in that 35 seconds. And now you can see it's kind of getting back to sunny. Um, but I have all of kind of the standard shots that I would want within a normal ceremony. And also they are during the intro where people are a little bit more smiley and uh, just having a good time. Uh, so kind of really worked out well there. That is the shot once the sun kind of hits again. So you can kind of frame and you can move yourself to do a little bit better or you can, I don't, I don't know, shoot through the, the doors here to, I don't know what that is. I'm kind of just giving you everything that I shot during the ceremony so you can see more of a full picture of kind of what I would usually deliver. And I know that some of the photos are going to be a little bit better when they're in the shade and they're a little more balanced and some are going to be a little bit harsher. But hopefully you see the, I guess, the true reality of kind of a wedding day through these images. Is my great honor to actually be able to declare you married? Why don't you go ahead and kiss you too? Go ahead. <laughs> also, all the shutter clicks you're hearing are not really audible to everyone else. Uh, they are, it's because you're attached, the GoPro is attached to the, to the camera. So that's why you hear it louder. And there's the ceremony. Completed. Now we are going to move into cocktail hour as well as doing some detail photos. Then we're going to sit down for dinner. Then we're going to do some sunset photos. And you get to watch all that. Whose cane is this? It's mine. Look at this. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care. No questions. Sorry. Don't care. All right. Cocktail hour. Family photos. I'm thinking down here is going to work. Uh, the sun 
kind of gets blocked by the building right here. So I can do a group of, hmm, maybe not enough. A group of five. Beyond that, maybe not ideal, also background. That's a fail. How about this direction? All right, new winning family photo spot right here. It'll be backlit, which is fine. Faces in the shade, shade white balance to expose properly for their faces. And uh, lots of space, so as many people as want to come. That's nice. The same Yang 8514. Do a great job of making these out of focus trees look real, real nice. Let's go get some people. Usually for this situation, I'd switch to my 70 to 200, but at this wedding, I don't believe I have my 70 to 200. That was a period of time where I was like, I don't need one. I'm fine with my 85. And then I immediately kind of rethought that as soon as uh, I got to a larger wedding day and things went a little bit back to normal. I do love the look of the 85. I feel like some of these might be Liam's from the 51 2 as well. But with the preset pack, they all mesh together very, very nicely. Can I rotate the line this way a little bit just so the sun's more kind of at your backs? That's good. And same deal, just nice and close together. And all right, looks good. And just have a look over here towards me. And everyone looks great. Beautiful. All right, that looks good. And get nice and close together. And then just have a look towards me over here. And everyone looks good. Awesome. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. That's great. All right, that's great. That's good. That's great. Yeah, that's good. Wide angle lens here makes it look like I am running into this room, but I assure you I'm walking at a normal pace. <laughs> and for speeches, I'm on the 85, and I'm also just kind of circling around the room and kind of focused maybe on the couple and on the side that the parents are currently speaking on. Uh, again, maybe not the most ideal lighting, but it's, it's, I don't know, it is what it is, and you kind of do the best with what you can. And it would be very strange for me, I think, to, I'm just kind of putting myself in the situation of the, the wedding. If I was to bring in a softbox and a flash and everything, I feel like it would just be distracting from kind of the intimate nature of this. I already feel weird enough being the additional member that's obviously here photographing. So I think I can do without. Here we are. Dinner time. Yay. Yep. Here's, here's dinner. I have is there a Michelin star in here? I can't find the Michelin star. Is it supposed to be in the soup? Can't find it. Maybe it's in the, the parm truffle cookie. That's ridiculously good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, so if we eat it before Liam gets back, he'll never know that he missed yeah. it. It's yeah. just gone. Nope. Here we go. <coughs> right? What's the foam? Mm. Kind of looks like Diet Coke. A little bit of like spillover on your mug or something. Diet Coke foam? Jeff, did you uh, hunt these truffles earlier today? Yeah, of course. It's a whole family tradition of hunting truffles. And then basically, if you don't know enough about truffles, but you have to hunt them, gather them, prepare them. It's a whole big process to get this soup, but uh, I will say this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Here we are, backing up footage. It's so exciting. Having fun yet? So much fun. I was going to put this between my teeth, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Almost golden hour. I'm gonna go take a, a quick photo here. I realized that it looks like you're on auto. I was just running auto shutter, uh, but apparently I was on 4,000. We're gonna give it another maybe 20 minutes and let the sun kind of come down completely. You can either choose if you, if you want kind of that sun, sun glow and actually get the sun in the shot. There's not really any backgrounds worth using. Uh, what the background is that I want to use is this here. So I gotta wait for the sun to go down completely for that. And then we take that picture. And then at some point I'll yell and you can turn around and come back towards uh... Beautiful. And here we go. Golden hour photo in black and white. Here it is in color. Samyang 85, really enjoying the properties of this lens, even though it's kind of giving me like a, a white vignette around the edges. And if you want to turn around and come back towards us here, and same deal as before, you can kind of look at each other and just pretend you're going for a walk rather than... Beautiful. All right, that looks good. And I'm gonna grab that film camera back. Okay. I have to meter this off of my phone because... Thanks. 
And we're gonna take a walk down to the little green space there. It's nice and backlit. And very, so I'm gonna have you guys out this way, wherever seems comfortable. Beautiful. And go this way just a little bit so you stay in the sun there. And if you guys want to put both arms around each other and get really close and cuddle together there. And you can look completely at each other there. Perfect. And if you want to smile and face towards me for one or two. Beautiful. Right. I might have to run way back this way. Um, if you guys want to center yourselves a little bit this way. Doing full body? Yeah. Right there is good. And you can just be holding hands and I'm just going to run quite far away. Beautiful. And you guys can look at each other and smile at each other. Perfect. Actually, do you guys want to turn around there and come back towards us? Yeah, it's nice. It looks pretty nice. Megan, do you want to bring that hand over to his arm? Kind of over there. Yeah, pull it. And this completes the how to take 20,000 photos in five minutes during Golden Hour segment. And I took 36 photos on this camera too. Thanks. First roll, 400D, complete. And now our main course, again, the uh, Diet Coke foam. And uh, what is your review? I believe I ordered the double down. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is it. Back into speeches, and the lighting is becoming kind of increasingly more mixed. So, in this situation, or at least for these next couple of minutes, I'll probably pretty much put everything into black and white. Again, I'll also give them the color version, but black and white will probably be the primary from this segment of the day. And again, if you are a member, you have access to all these presets. Um, I'm going to guess there's probably about 100 presets total. The new preset pack, the 2022 pack, is all of the current presets that I'm using for all of my weddings, just kind of updated for this year. All right, and that kind of brings us to the end of the wedding day. Uh, this was, I believe, a six-hour wedding day, maybe a four-hour wedding day. And it had all of the elements of normal wedding, just obviously a little bit smaller guest count, so things ran a little bit more efficiently and were maybe a little bit more family-oriented. And I think that a lot of my couples have really kind of been enjoying that, even with all the negatives over the past couple of years. I feel like that's one of the positives. And then Megan and Chris had a larger reception with uh, a lot more friends a couple of weeks later. Any questions? Feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will answer them as best as I can. And that's all from me today, right here. There we go. Leaving the we wedding day. Beautiful day. See you next time, Langan Hall. Goodbye, Jeff and Michelle. That's Michelle's head. So there you have it, wedding photography. Am I right? And don't forget, if you want to see all of the settings, including the millimeters, the ISO, the shutter speed, the aperture, it is all over on the member's website right now, and you can scroll through all these images. And there's another video over there, as well as behind the scenes. And I don't know, I'm going to say a 1,000 hours of courses and content. Go check it out. There's so much on there. If you want to take your business from part-time wedding photographer to full-time, uh, that is the place to do it. So go sign up. Get instant access to everything. I can't speak today. And... 100% money back guarantee. So if you join and it's not what you were expecting, just send me an email and I'll send your money back. See you next time. Oh, and don't forget, free Lightroom preset pack. Link in the description below. Go get them. And they're yours and you can use them. Bye again.